Question number 10, Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Statistics and asks, what does the latest release of census data show in regards to population growth in the regions? Mr Speaker. Honourable Morris Williamson. Mr Speaker, the information uh, released this week from Statistics New Zealand shows that all but one region grew in population in size since the last census in 2006. This shows the government is delivering on its priority to develop a stronger economy, and the data released, sir, is a far cry from the Honourable David Cunliffe's inept prediction point of, of a widespread order. exodus from the region. I have a point of order from Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, I'd like to draw your attention to uh, Speaker's ruling supplement on page 8, uh, Speaker's supplementary ruling 1542A, uh, made by the Honourable Dr Lockwood Smith on the 13th of November in last year, in which he ruled it is not reasonable to use questions from the governing party or its support parties to attack, attack other members of the House, which is exactly what this question is designed to do. A minister cannot use a patsy Order. question from the National Party Order. to attack Member the Member of the Opposition. Seat. I accept the bulk of the point of order being made. The answer was satisfactory until uh, the Minister attempted to revert back to something that was under a previous administration, which wasn't his responsibility. He referring to a, sp a statement from the Leader of the Opposition and from last week. And, that, and that's not helpful, as I've just ruled. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Which regions in particular have grown the most? Honourable Mr. Morris Williamson. Mr Speaker, the Auckland and Nelson regions both grew by more than 8%, followed by the Waikato with 6%, and, uh, and that was nearly 23,000 people, sir, so it's huge. Waikato was, in fact, one of the areas highlighted again by Mr Cunliffe's press release when he said that the Taranaki uh, was not growing. Point of order, Chris Hipkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker... Um well, I'll wait for you to sit down. Point of order. Thank, thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, in his answer, the Minister has now directly challenged the ruling that you had just made. A moment ago, you asked my colleague Clayton Cosgrove to withdraw and apologise and then throw him out of the chamber without giving a reason. The Minister has directly order. challenged your Member ruling. Member will resume his seat, otherwise he'll be accompanying Mr Cosgrove, surely. Um, I think the member, the minister made a fair point though, he wasn't referring to a previous administration, he was actually referring to a relatively recent statement by an opposition member. I was possibly a bit hard on him on the first time, but I think the uh, question's now been adequately point, point of order. answered. Point this of order. is a fresh It point is point indeed point. a fresh point oh, of order, Mr Speaker. Mr Sorry. Speaker, the, the, um, uh, perhaps if I could go back to the Speaker's ruling that I first referred I to. Check this is a fresh point of order. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's 1542A, and I appreciate you might not have it in front of you, so you might not have um, acknowledged it. What it says is that uh, it is not reasonable for, to use questions from the governing party or support parties to attack other members of the House. There's a further, uh, further Speaker's ruling immediately after that. This says ministers should not bring another political party which has not been involved in the questioning into an answer. So in this case, this is a government question to a government minister. The Labour Party has had no role in this question. It doesn't matter whether it was an action of the previous government or a statement that David Cunliffe has made recently. The minister has no responsibility for it. We're not a party to this question. And, and I've, I've accepted the point the members made and the question is now concluded. This is a debating chamber. Consider the questions that have uh, been asked today right across the chamber. Many of them are very loaded questions. If you want a sterile environment with short, sharp crispy questions with no opinion at all and answers accordingly, I can work to deliver that. But I don't think it would be in the interest of this parliament. It certainly wouldn't be in the interest of New Zealand democracy. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Uh, point of order... Mr Speaker, this is the last point of order that I will raise on the matter, and I absolutely accept that where members of the opposition ask questions that are political in nature, um, the government may, you know, has the rights to attack back in a political fashion. The issue at question here is this is not a question that the, that the opposition is in any way a party no, to. The member's now just repeating okay, the point of order he's already made, and I'll move on. So are you ruling that these are now out of order? Order! Are these no longer apply? Order! Oh. Does Chris Hipkins also want to take an early shower? Well, then I suggest we stop intergenting. Question number 11, Eugenie Sage. Thank you, Mr Speaker. 